Okay. I'm going to get you started right off the bat in Lucidchart. And I want to assume that you can actually know some of the stuff that I've taught you on how to do ERDs. Now you need to do an ERD. First, Lucidchart. Google. You can find it. It's pretty easy. And it's pretty easy to sign up for a free plan. Everything you need for this class is going to be available in the free plan. Once you get into Lucidchart, you'll probably see something like this. But the reality is you're going to make a new chart, not a Lucid Spark. But a lucid chart, okay, which you're going to do from a template. So create from template. All right, now it's going to give you a series of templates here. Um, again, the most common chart that you're going to do, the charts that you're going to do every single time in the database class is the database crow's foot chart. Now, if you click this, okay, it's got, oh, we're over the three lucid chart document limit. You'll be able to edit your three most recent created documents and the rest of the can view only. That's fine. We're going to do that. I only want to, I'm, I'm not going to worry about all the other ones. So it gives you a tip every time you load. Um, okay. And you'll probably work with the chart you get. And it starts with this default chart. It actually has an ERD right here. And if you look at it and you zoom in, you'll go, oh, that looks like an ERD. What do you know? It's, it is an ERD right there. And we can kind of move up and down here and I can zoom in and you can see this. Um, there's, you know, here's the, crow, here's the crow's foot notation. Here's the entity and fields. Everything is right there. I close my door. Um, so, any, anywho, um, that's what you've got to create. Now, how do you do this? Well, again, it's pretty simple here. Well, this is the chart that you'll be starting with. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I want to actually move this guy up and down. Um, you need to change the name of this. Double click it. New name. Well, that's not too hard. You want to change this. New name. Okay, again, type would be the type of the variable type of this. So that's not hard to do. Well, what about changing these crow's foot notations? Well, if you click on the crow's foot right there, and you go up to this little guy right here, I can change that to whatever I want to. It's in these line things. What if I want to create a new line? Well, I can go here and I can create a new line and I can bring it over and that's actually, okay, can I go? And I can drop it right there on top of that guy and then go here and then change the foot however I want it to be. Not hard to do at all. What if you want to add some new shapes? Well, I need to come over here. Oh, I'm going to slide this over here a little bit so you can see the shape library is right over here. Just go to the shape library, shapes panel. The shapes panel has entity relationship is one of the cho choices here. So I've got three things here. I can do an entity with only fields, entity with keys and fields, an entity with fields and types, and an entity with keys and fields and types. You know what keys are, you know what fields are, you know what types are. If I want to actually take this guy and he now will just show up right there. And now I've got a new one there. And if I wanted to create a like, you know, again, I can go here and I can change any of these so i could say oh this is the primary key and it's going to be entity entity id and it's going to be of type integer boom done not hard to do at all okay and i can go ahead and now drop little relationships to other things right there that's it that is all you really need to know oh wait i take that back that is not everything you need to know you can create the diagrams. It's relatively easy to do. I don't think anybody's going to have any trouble with it, but you need to get them out in a format that I can see in your reports. File. Okay. Export. Okay, whoops. Export. And I would recommend doing it in PNG with transparent background. There's everything that you have right there. And you just simply download that to your hard, you know, to the, to, to your report. That's it. Five minutes is all it really takes to get this done. Now, um, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to cancel this out. There is one thing that when you start with this new chart here that has all this other stuff added on, you got to go through and you're probably going to delete some of that. It's not hard to do. Or you can just do a multi-select and just delete the crap out of everything. Okay. Like I don't want all these quick tips and relational shot. I, I want to get rid of all this. Not a problem. Delito. It's all gone. Bam. It's not hard to delete stuff out of here. Um, and I can now move things around. I can make it look pretty. And it does a lot of the changing of everything. So can you make ERDs with Lucidchart? Hey, five minutes, 454, 455, 456. And we're stopping now.